All right, so with the DCU, because we're transitioning now from the DCEU, which had all the Justice League films and Men of Steel and Batman v Superman, we're transitioning now into a rebooted universe in with the DC characters. And, you know, I, I'm very excited for it. I think that there's a lot of potential here with Brave and the Bold, Paradise Lost, Superman, Creature Commando, maybe a little less excited. But, you know, I think there's a lot of potential here with the new universe. But one question that if you've been watching the channel, listening to the podcasts for a while, you'll know has been on my mind is... What parts of the old DCEU are canon to the new DCU? I think actually, you know, one might be tempted to say, well, surely none of it because it's a reboot, right? It's a rebooted universe. We're getting a whole new Superman. That question, though, has been a little bit more in the gray area than I think a lot of us may have anticipated. And I think the reason is because James Gunn did a lot in the post, I would say post Snyder Cut version of the DCEU. He did, you know, the Suicide Squad. He did Peacemaker. But also, if you guys remember... The, the the characters from Peacemaker, including Harcourt and Economos, showed up in Black Adam and also showed up in, at the end of Shazam Fury of the Gods, to recruit Shazam to the Justice Society. So James Gunn had a lot of, I guess, creative liberties within the, the end of the DCEU. And obviously he took over right as they were releasing the final four projects, right? Which were Shazam Fury of the Gods, which was Blue Beetle, uh, The Flash, and then obviously Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. And so it's interesting because you know, with the announcement of the slate of the new DCU, there were a lot of projects that had reprising roles from actors from the previous regime, from the previous DCEU. It's really interesting also because, I mean, right out of the gate, we're getting Creature Commandos, which is basically Suicide Squad 2, or 3, I guess, depending on what you... But, you know, James Gunn, Suicide Squad 2, Superman, you know, that's a break. But then we get Peacemaker Season 2, literally Season 2, Peacemaker Season 2. And then we're also getting a, a Waller series, apparently, at some point. So a lot of these projects have carryover from, you know, from the old DCEU. And the question was, what parts of those projects will be canon? That's really been my big question of how much are you going to take from those old projects and bring it into your new DCEU? Now, there, there's a separate question here about how much should be canon, because honestly, personally, I might have been more on board of, let's just reboot the whole thing and just start over. But I understand, I, I'm sure James Gunn was so... I don't, beholden and attached to his character as Peacemaker and, and Amanda Waller and whatnot that he felt like he had to bring them over. Again, I would have maybe preferred a hard reboot, and I love Peacemaker, by the way. It's nothing to do with Peacemaker's quality, but, you know, I, that may be what I would have preferred, been, you know, been my preferred option. So, James Gunn, I think in promoting Creature Commandos, has been doing a lot of interviews lately, and there's some really interesting things he's been saying. I'm going to go over really quickly just a couple of little nuggets that I saw that aren't really related to the main topic of this segment, which is the canonicity of the old DCEU, but there are just some other things that are very interesting. Like, for example, James Gunn has said that he'd be interested in the Creature Commandos coming back and maybe even in a theatrical form. And I think that, you know, he's implied before that he wouldn't be opposed to even doing animated theatrical films as well. So yeah, Creature Commandos, if it goes well, then I'm sure we'll see them again very soon. He's also said there's going to be a lot of other R-rated films coming up in the DC you that's interesting and then um he's also confirmed that a superman trailer is not too far away and he's also confirmed that he will be directing more projects in the dcu he just hasn't picked which one and he said something like he has four or five projects to pick from uh, at this point in time he says he says they're doing a lot of things and so he has a lot to pick from so that's all interesting that's all well and good but now Let's get to the bigger, broader topic here of the canonicity, right? What is canon in the DCU? And he gave an interview where he talked about Peacemaker, talked about season two of Peacemaker, and just talked about what storylines are going to carry over. So I'm going to read some quotes here, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. So this is an article here that has a lot of the quotes, and it says, the first one says, quote, Now, in Creature Commandos, you'll hear them talk about things that happen in The Suicide Squad or Peacemaker. Well, then, those things are automatically become canon in the DCU. Okay. That makes some sense, especially because the character of, you know, they, they point out the character of Weasel is literally coming back. And also Viola Davis's Amanda Waller is coming back. So it makes some sense in that regard if you're doing this. Okay. The second quote is, quote, the truth is almost all of Peacemaker is canon with the exception of Justice League, which we will kind of deal with in the next season at uh, next season of Peacemaker. Okay. So that's also interesting. And then let me scroll down. I think those were the only two major quotes that I wanted to talk about here. But I think that that's interesting because I think that's what we all kind of suspected is obviously the Justice League cameo. You can't really have Jason Momoa, Rezra Miller, because they're not reprising their roles as Flash and Aquaman. And so that's obviously not going to be canon. But he seems to, well, not seems to think, he is in charge. So he says that basically all of Peacemaker is canon to the DCU. And by extension, he also says the Suicide Squad is canon in the DCU as well. 
Inter and I guess his, his defining line, right, the hard line that he's taking, is whatever is mentioned in Creature Commandos and future DCU projects that refer back to the old projects are going to be canon. Now, it's interesting because my first thought, you know, before he said that was, does that mean by extension Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn in this DCU? You know, what does that mean for all those characters that were associated with those projects? But he seems to be saying that it's really all the things that he, for, for the Suicide Squad at least, all the things that they mention about the Suicide Squad that, you know, that automatically become canon to the DCU. Whereas, you know, for Peacemaker, he seems to be just saying all of Peacemaker is canon except for the Justice League scene, the cameo at the end of that series. Now, again, we can have all these different conversations about whether or not this should be the case, whether or not it should be the case, but... I, I will say it's a little bit confusing because I think that by having this much continuity and carryover, I do wonder, right? Because I know that James Gunn is very confident and committed into the quality of the DCU, and obviously the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker were very well received. I'm just curious if people, there will be people out there who see trailers for Creature Commandos or who see a trailer, sees a trailer for Waller when that comes out or Peacemaker Season 2 and they go, oh, they're just continuing on the old DC. EU, and then they see a new Superman movie and they're like, what is this? Is this the Joker? You know, kind of like Joker. Is this like the Batman? Is this all different? So I, I wonder if there's going to be some heavy lifting that James Gunn has to do in order to make this make sense for the general going movie audience. I'd be very curious about that. But anyways, we have our answer. It seems like whatever is mentioned in the new DCU that alludes to the previous projects, the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker in particular, seems to be that, you know, those are going to be canon. Those little aspects at least are going to be canon. And then also all of Peacemaker, except for the Justice League scene, is going to be canon. So that clears it up a little bit. Although again, means to be seen about other things like Jolo Maradue Maraduena, I believe, is going to be voicing Blue Beetle again. So who knows if that film is going to be canon to the DCU? Honestly, I have no idea. We'll see about that. But yeah, I mean, the more that James Gunn can clear this up, I think the better we will all be for it. So guys, let me know in the comments down below. Are you one of those people like me who maybe thinks they should have just done a hard reboot and started all over, even though you love Peacemaker or the Suicide Squad? Or do you think this is fine and this will all make sense in the end and they'll just figure a way out? Let me know in the comments down below.